give your dollar a squeezy. The girl's got the answer, you better believe me. Take it from Tara. Take it from Tara. Take it from Tara. Take it from Tara. And welcome to another edition of Take It From Tara. I'm your host, Tara Bassett, the eponymous show named for another Tara. <laughs> I just thought I'd say that. This is, this is a different Tara. This is a new Tara. This is the Tara that's going to move forward from June the 10th, 2013, with a fabulous array of guests. Woo! I've been away on remotes for the last couple of weeks, and so we've had to, to change things up getting back into the studio. But it has been so much fun doing live shows from Owensboro, Kentucky, and from Hilton Head, South Carolina. And we're going to do another live show from Ireland, believe it or not, oh, in August. Oh, nice. So, I know. So Rebecca, <laughs> Eames, and Rosie are going to be going yes. with me. But first, let me welcome my extraordinary rundown of guests. Catherine Furrow and Herschel Zond, who go by the uh, moniker Sentiment journey hello, hello. join us and of course they are famous musicians but they are also filmmakers extraordinaire and we're going to take a few minutes during the show to talk about the film that they're shooting breath of heaven which is uh catherine's beautiful screenplay and herschel's direction catherine and herschel starring it's it's a fabulous project thank and you, i'm so you. excited to be a part of it what little i can do i love to do we're so honored to have you a part of it and it's been so much fun the process it with has. you and just um getting to this point so thank you we thank you it. very much. And thank you guys for bringing your music back because um, Herschel and Catherine are known for singing in many different places, but really frequently you guys performed at Lynn's Paradise Cafe mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. always made the crazy restaurant the best possible fun musical <laughs> restaurant <laughs> as you. well. So we <laughs> love that. Thank you. Glad to have you guys back. And um, Rebecca Eves is a guest. Uh, she's the Arrow Fund hero and she's holding Rosie and uh, her step dad now her adopted dad is walt oster so we're going to be talking to them about this incredible little puppy the latest rescue for the uh, extraordinary arrow fund we also have in focus magazine's tanya ablin who is here with the social side she's talking bourbon i can't imagine why but Yummy. you know it happens to be something that kentucky really loves and sally evans is here from the peace project at uofl you remember meeting sally when i did the vagina monologues a few months ago and so she's back to talk a little bit about the peace project and ramona johnson who is one of my very personal heroes and a very good friend gives us an update on her incredible work and the staff's work at Bridgehaven Mental Health Services who provide extraordinary help to severely mentally ill who don't have the capability of getting help elsewhere. So we are very grateful for the existence of Bridgehaven, the continuing great work that's done there. And thank you to Ramona for missing her yoga class to come in tonight to share the good news about awesome. Bridgehaven. Uh, this June 10th edition of Take It From Tara is sponsored by ABC Security for Linda Hillenbrand's Woman of the Year campaign for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. It took place on Friday night and she won the Champions Award. So we are so happy nice. for Wonderful. and proud of Linda Herrick Hillenbrand and her wonderful husband, Jim, who uh, lives with leukemia and lymphoma, and uh, so proud of them, and thank you for their sponsorship of Take It From Tara. So, Catherine and Herschel, um, very quickly, if you will, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip-flop two things here. I'm going okay. to let you talk for just a second about what you're going to sing, but then I'm going to interview these guys because I think that Rosie's going to get tired. Oh. <laughs> and then we'll have, you, we'll have you sing for a few minutes after we talk to them and give, give the dog a break. But what's some of the music you're singing today? Because this is a different song than I've ever heard you do before, the one you just did sound check on. We've got um, our, our, some of our usual material, but we have uh, a dear friend, Bryce Blair, who's just diagnosed with um, brain cancer and has some wow. complications going on. And so we have a song that we want to dedicate to him, one of our, um, a new song that we've been working on for a while. Yeah, we, we were asked a little while ago by some folks to record some, some, some different genre music, some rock, and uh, we have a you too song we're going to share with everybody. I love it. Good. Okay, we'll Thank be you. back with Sentimental Journey in just a minute. Rebecca, welcome. Hello, Tara. Always so good to it's see you. It's so wonderful to be here. We're so happy when we get to come. And you can come every month. We've already planned Yay. that out. I know. And I'm we're so excited, excited because excited. you always have a different and yes. wonderful story to share with us. Walt Oster is the adopted father of this beautiful little puppy who does not want to stay with his Aunt Rebecca no. now because no. she's he, found her true love. She loves her daddy <laughs> and her new mommy. That is for sure. Okay, but, uh, so anybody who can't hear sad animal stories, go ahead and plug your ears for a minute because this is one of those yes. incredibly painful stories, but we need to share it because if you don't see it and you don't hear it, then you can't do anything about it. And mm -hmm. Rebecca, tell us about Rosie. Well, on March 12th of this year, uh, we got a call from Metro Animal Services, and um, she was shot pretty much point blank. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
was in a whole lot of pain and we rushed her immediately to the hospital and we were not able to save her leg and I don't know if you can see it but she she's, she's a tripod she lost now. a little leg <laughs> oh, she's but doing she so well. absolutely is thriving now she is I mean uh, she was doing one legged down dog out there to yes, she was. Her <laughs> miss in her honor yoga of the yoga class missed <laughs> nice. absolutely yeah. but I'm um, it, it's, it's just amazing um Wall, who heads our investigative unit uh, for the Aero Fund, um, he and his wife are associated with Kentucky and a Crime Stoppers. Wow. And Rosie is the first dog ever featured with Crime Stoppers, wow. or the first animal. Incredible. So it's really cool. And so they're offering a $500 reward. Is that correct, Walt? That's right. We're going to up it maybe at the end of the month. Good. Talk to us about what you're doing with Rosie right now in her rehabilitative phase. Well, when I got the call from Rebecca, uh, I went to the hospital and I visited this little dog after hearing she was shot down in the West End, a place where when I was on the police department that I rode actually as a beat for a while. Yes. And I went down and looked at the area where she was shot and I, I just couldn't believe someone could do this to this little dog. But after I saw her one time at the hospital, I said, I'm going to take this little girl, and, and she'll never be hurt again. So oh, I, brought her, I brought her home with me, and uh, she can now jump uh, on the bed or on the couch. Uh, she's, uh, she's just a lovable little dog, and she wouldn't hurt a fly. She's got and super strong hindquarters. And she, she does. <laughs> yeah. That's she does. the best part. And she yeah, looks that's a good. lot like my Gracie, which is pretty amazing yeah. when you stop to think about it. And yeah. Rebecca, Blue Pearl Animal Hospital? Yeah, Blue Pearl yes. is where we took her. Has been one of the uh, incredible supporters of the Aero Fund. Yes. I mean, yes. They are. They are um, that's who we use for the emergencies in the middle of the night, which there are a lot of, unfortunately. Yes. We have more cases now than ever. So we really want to ask everyone out there to please, the way we communicate daily is through our Facebook page. And we used to be associated with another group here in town. We are now our own 501c3, and we're so proud of that. Terrific. And uh, we have a great board, great team that work together, and we truly have the animal's best interests at heart. We do. And so we really want people to join our Facebook page. Join um, The Arrow Fund on Facebook. Wonderful. And... Um, it's it, that way we are we are calling ourselves an army against animal cruelty or animal I abuse that. because funny. animal cruelty as we state so many times it leads to this, this, this guy shooting this dog was not the first type of abuse mm -hmm. he's done That's right. it was not the first time he's ever hurt an animal it was not the first time he's probably ever struck a child a woman an elderly right. person and it's it's and i don't mean to say that all abusers are male they're not but um, it's just very important out there <laughs> that we stop the abuse where at this level exactly. because it accelerates and that's why we fight for stronger laws and right. we're, we're really wanting to go after these people aren't we Walt? <laughs> we're on the hunt believe me <laughs> and hang on just a second Rebecca if you just want to put her down on the ground sure. go ahead because sure. then Kathy can take a picture of her uh -huh. with the other camera if we can get her kind of oh, centered yeah. over there uh -huh. or Emma can come in and she can play with uh, Rosie on the ground right in front <laughs> Emma is yeah. Catherine's daughter and she yes. loves she this dog love so yeah. come on in for just a second Emma and you can take Rosie over here yeah. and get in the shot. There you go. Yay. This is why we love live radio with you, Stream. <laughs> get right there, right there on the ground, and, and I'll tell you what. I'll see what Kathy says. Let's see if she can point the camera. Perfect. Oh, Yay. perfect. Good job, Emma. We need dog wranglers on Take It From <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Supergirl. And today. we just got word that uh, <laughs> we have another. One. Emma's gonna come Dolly and. Uh, leg. Yes, yes. Yeah, we've had we've had quite a few limbs lost and. Uh, eyeballs to have to be removed you know, know. It, it, it's, it's kind of a gruesome thing that we do but we take the worst of the worst of these cases um, yes and it we do that for a reason number one to just bring awareness of the abuse that's out there mm -hmm. and to try and stop it at this level mm -hmm. well you know this could be oh emma scoot over this way just yeah. a little bit bring her back over so she's in the shot Come here, Rosie. Just she wants to. Just she wants to run the show for you, yeah, Tara. She wants to do that. That's good. And I'm just having a flashback to when I was on Louisville Live with Becca White, and we had a cute little black and white dog who came on, and there was a green carpet, which looked a lot like grass. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. oh, don't and I'm not me. even going to wish this on Rosie, but I think it's pretty awesome that she's sniffing a lot, and I'm just going to hope for the best. <laughs> she's she's pretty good. She is she's pretty good. good. She's and never girl. ever. Never had an accident Never. in the house. That's pretty good. Cause and she loves her family, too. It could, it, she yeah. sure does. She <laughs> well, she already does. loves Emma, which is great. And Mimi, who is Catherine's other daughter, has also been loving on her. Rebecca, we're um, on Facebook, the Arrow Fund. Yes. 
And the website also? www.thearrowfund.org. Wonderful. And we're constantly trying to get that under... Uh, you know, we're working under construction, but yes. I mean, it, it's there, it's ready. We have the adoption applications, the medical foster applications. Great. Hint, hint, hint. Yes. We, mm-hmm. Every time we take an animal in, we don't have a foster. Isn't that sad? We need medical fosters on file ready for when these emergencies happen. It could be five minutes from now. And so I have to get on and beg. So really, it, it's really great to know that we have a medical foster ready. It is, so. and that's wonderful. And thank you, Walt, for your participation. Thank you for and having I, me. And I hope that you will hunt this person down. And oh, we're on the hunt, pay. believe me. And make him pay or her pay. I think it's a guy. I it think sounds it's a guy. like it's yeah. a guy. Yeah. Make them pay for what they've done and make an example of them so that nothing like this ever happens again to another Amen. beautiful pet. That's right. That's we right have right another there. one mm-hmm. in Foster right Olive. now with a leg missing. Yeah, she, yeah, Olive. she visited yeah. last month. I she's do. doing great. Good. Olive, Olive is, is making great. progress. I'm so mm-hmm. glad to she's hear She's getting spayed tomorrow, but then she'll be ready for her forever home. I love it. So thank you, Rebecca Eves from the Arrow Fund, for the tremendous, (laughs) tremendous work that you do and the the care that you take of this beautiful baby and all the babies that you love. I just want one thing I want to say real quick. We, everyone says Rebecca. Okay, it is, you know, I, I do a, I do a lot, but we have a team and we work together and we have volunteers and we have a, a, a great board and then we have a community. This community, I cannot say enough of or, or uh, about, it is fantastic. And so I want to thank everyone out there in the community that has come forward to help the Aero Fund because we would not be doing what we did are doing without your help. And just thank you so very much. We really appreciate it. And we ask you to watch those Facebook posts, and whenever you see a new little hero coming into the yes. picture, go ahead and make a contribution. If it's a dollar, if it's ten, if it's a hundred, every little bit helps. If it comes from the heart, it doesn't matter what the amount is, and that's, that's exactly the way right. we look at that's it. Right. So, thank well, thank you, you Rebecca thank and you. Walt. We appreciate you. We'll see you next month, if yes. not before. Thanks for having us. And I hate to take her away from you, Emma, but you can walk Rosie out. <laughs> Mom and Herschel are going to entertain yes. us with this beautiful new song from Sentimental Journey. Catherine Furrow and Herschel Zond. Thank you. Thank you very much. Love you, Colby. Love you. Thank you. Bye, Rosie. You've got the stuff You're telling me and anyone You're hard enough You don't have to put up a fight You don't have to always be right Let me take some of the punches you tonight listen to me now I need to let you know you don't have to go it alone and it's you when I look in the We weren't so alike You'd like me a whole lot more Sometimes you can't make it on your own
sentimental journey beautiful beautiful sentiments and for your friend who is struggling with brain cancer right now we we send our good thoughts to him thank you. thank you thank you thank you very you much, very yeah. much. Yeah. sally evans is here with the peace project and boy i tell you what sally i'm going to play one promo before we talk about you because we are so proud of linda herrick hillenbrand she yes. has done a great job raising money for leukemia and lymphoma society so have all the other candidates for man and woman of the year but she went an extra step and she actually his sponsor take it from tara to give us the opportunity to promote that project for her so let's hear a little bit from uh, avc security as our sponsor linda harry killen brand's campaign for woman of the year and she won the champions award so we're very very proud of her the leukemia and lymphoma society's man and woman of the year campaign is a national 10-week effort to raise funds to help find cures for blood cancers candidates like linda harry killen brand agree to utilize their leadership abilities and resources to conduct their own fundraising campaigns Money's raised help the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society fund blood cancer research and provide education and support services for patients and their families. The candidates who raise the most funds will be awarded the titles of the chapter's Man and Woman of the Year on June 7th at the Galt House. Find out more at Linda Herrick Hillenbrand's Facebook page. Friday night, we're so proud of them. Friday night was the, the culmination of that campaign, but ABC Security continues to sponsor Take It From Tara, and it's going to all bring attention to leukemia and lymphoma, so we're proud of them. So Sally Evans, great to see you again, my dear. You too. It's like we were just here. I know, and that was in... I know! <laughs> that was in February for the Vagina Monologues, which was a great project uh, from U of L from the Indeed. Peace Office, and you have so many things going on, and yeah. I'd like you to just start talking to us about the purpose of peace, what it stands for and what role you play in on-campus life at UofL. Sure, Tara. I'd be happy to. Well, uh, the PEACE program, I'll begin with by just saying PEACE, P-E-A-C-C, -C, uh, is an acronym. It stands for Prevention, Education, and Advocacy on Campus and in the Community. Excellent. Um, so that kind of embodies a little bit. We're both uh, very much the prevention branch, but also responding to um, its incidents of power-based personal violence on campus. But like you said, we have a lot of good things going on. Um, one of the things we love to do is challenge the norms um, that promote and uh, sustain violence in our community. We know that in a college campus, the numbers of interpersonal violence, things like stalking, sexual assault, dating violence are incredibly high um, at numbers. And so many, many people can relate to this, yes. come to college with these stories. One of the things I'm most excited about that's coming up uh, this fall, we kind of kick, we kind of work on it throughout the summer and kick it right off in the fall, is a, an annual event and rally called Take Back the Night. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's a it's a powerful event. And most of you out there might be like, oh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard of that or so and I've you know seen it on Facebook or, or here and there but I encourage you this year if you haven't experienced it it's a powerful powerful time when the invisible 
the oppressions that we we have in this in this issue kind of be, are able to become visible, uh, mostly through people's stories. Um, we are uh, we do have some wonderful speakers um, and performers. In fact, we're we're actually looking for people who would be interested. We're in that point of of planning. Um, we have some important planning meetings coming up in in June. Actually, our first one here in June. That's going to kick off kind of our our planning committee. Excellent. Um, but we we would love to, you know for people who are we're still looking into that. But we we have a, a wonderful speak out aspect of Take Back the Night where people come and 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 just claim that power of saying you know this is this is part of my story, but it's not all of me. And here's here's what else. That's um, right. I'm doing with that, and it just is a. A powerful time for us to unite as a campus and a community. Uh, you might be familiar with the Compassionate City Absolutely. Initiative. A uh, wonderful, I'm so proud of Louisville for uh, being one of the Compassionate Cities. But this is um, in support of that as that initiative as well. As we Compassionate kind of Louisville recently hosted the Dalai Lama, which yes! I was privileged to be able to attend one of his uh, presentations, and I was touched beyond words. So when is the when is the date of Take Back the Night? So the actual date is Tuesday, September 24th. Great. 2013. Do you need an MC? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need some entertainers? I thought you'd never yes. ask. Oh, yeah. I'm yes. sitting in a room. I'm sitting in a room. I'm like, yeah, look at me. I need for four. And here they are. And here we Just all like are. You, you put it out there, and there it is. Right? <laughs> well, and you shall receive. And, and Herschel and Catherine are extraordinary. Uh, clearly. Yes. Not only in the singing capacity, but also mm. in the filmmaking capacity. So, yeah. you know, you, you, you get them to sing and participate, and, and you maybe think about hiring them to do some filming yeah. and you make a documentary about it to carry it on through the rest i mean yeah. there are all kinds of possibilities mm-hmm. but i'd be happy to do it for free yeah that's wonderful thank you Tara. thank you yeah, if you want you. me yeah i think i think <laughs> if you don't <laughs> if you don't you can always call angie fenton because she's awesome too <laughs> you'd be delighted that oh would be i'd love to be a part of it that would be tremendous and sally you know i think one of the things that has been most significant to me in my experience with you at the peace project is the way that you brought together a disparate group of people to create a, a wonderful presentation of the, the Vagina Monologues. And it's done mm-hmm. every year in honor of V-Day, which is right around the Valentine's Day time. Mm-hmm. And um, you have talked about you know, doing other projects in addition to it, but it really, Eve Ensler's words uh, really strike the heart of people who come. And when we were doing the Vagina Monologues, we had a, an audience talk back. Mm-hmm. And many of us got up and shared our personal stories about mm-hmm. what had happened to us, uh, mm-hmm. whether we had been sexually assaulted, whether we had been abused. Mm-hmm. And so many people in the audience responded with their own stories, yeah. which which was incredibly touching and moving. And I assume that's what's going to happen at Take Back the Night. Yes. I rem- you know, you're reminding me, Tar, of that powerful time. And what a great example of what we do have um, set up as a speak out for this Take Back the Night. And just like... With that evening, um, it's amazing the organic and beautiful nature of it, but just the overwhelmingly people come up to share their own connection. And I mean, it's just all ages, male, yes. female, Very gay, powerful. straight. Yeah. It's a real, um, you know, unfortunately, violence doesn't discriminate against anyone. No. And so just all different folks come up and are, are involved and. In fact, this uh, event is sort of a part of a whole week we call um, a week without violence. Oh, good. So that's September 17th through the 25th. But of course, the culminating event is Take Back the Night. So there's some great initiatives, um, some great ones for men on campus. You know, we're committed at peace. We believe that men play a crucial role in violence prevention Absolutely. and not only have, a, of course, their own connection, but can play a critical role. And again, about that challenging some of the norms, um, we are just you know, so proud of uh, a lot of the U of L men that are a, a vital part of our our peace program who volunteer with us regularly and who will be a part of a week without violence. And there's other events um, throughout the week that we um, we do. That's that's a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to an, an amazing week. Um, a lot of what we do is not only bringing forth those stories, but looking into how to you know help a story like that never to happen to prevent a course exactly um, that type of. <clears throat> Of pain, and we um, have a, a powerful initiative at, at the peace program called Green Dot, which is basically, in essence, just empowering bystanders to own the power they have to step in if and when they see something or, or just say something. Don't and, just stand uh, by, mm-hmm. yeah. do something. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, we, and you know, it's it's great to start there, but we can't just believe we have to know how to act. That's right. And these the trainings we do really help people to own the obstacles that are inevitably in there and to help work around them and to really know how, how do I though help? I want to, but how <laughs> do I actually step in and 
and and help someone to get home safely to yes. confront someone who's speaking in a uh, about sexual violence in a very uh, off off putting way or mm -hmm. you know and and to be able to say hey that's um, something that's uh, certainly is very very important to myself and others and you know just to be able to step in and help help confront those things in the first place. The Peace Office is located um, on the University of Louisville campus, and it's it's in its own little building. It is. And you actually <laughs> offer yoga classes with Matt Harris there, I think, Wednesday nights. We do. The health promotions um, part of UofL is also in that building, along with the counseling center, and health promotions offers wonderful classes. Yes. yes. And, and I know you've been to the yoga classes. Oh, yes. We're Matt. talking about yoga a lot tonight. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Dog yoga, human yoga, everything. And I do There's yoga. Theme. Yes, at Eternal yes. Health Yoga, which is yoga, on Frankfort Avenue. So I love, mm -hmm. I love to talk about yoga but you know the most important thing is that you can participate in pieces programs the peace offices programs at any time it's not just a once mm -hmm. or twice a year thing it's an everyday thing mm -hmm. and what's the best way to get in touch with you at the peace office the best way is um I might just put out our website, I'll put website and phone number. Yes, so website good. is real easy for people a lot of times just www.louisville.edu backslash peace p-e-a-c-c -E -E -C -C. yeah those prevention education awareness on the, the campus, campus in the and community, community. Very good. Well, you got to remember um, those things because this is something that can make a life or death difference in mm -hmm. someone's mm -hmm. someone's Most day. Definitely it's true. true. It's true. And the phone number there, um, if you're interested in calling, is just 502-852-2663. Do you have a, a Facebook page? We do. We do. Um, one of the best uh, way to get to us is just type in peace. P-E-A-C-C -C, volunteers. Oh, good. Peace volunteers. And we have all kinds of updates, uh, kind of what the opportunities and, and, and are. We're always interested in, in community partners. And, uh, of course, we work a lot with the, of course, within the UofL community, but always looking to expand that, especially when it comes to a community event like Take Back the Night. So if you're out there and you're hearing this, and whether you're an organization or business or individual, you know, yes. there might be some opportunities. Um, we'd really love to to explore that with you. However awesome. you can contribute, you should contribute. And if you become a volunteer, that would be even better. And if you can learn something at the Peace Office and take it with you to your business or your organization, yeah. that would be even greater because I know you work daily to to bring the message of peace to sure. the campus and thank you for that yes, effort myself Sally. and many others yes <laughs> you do well thank you to sally yeah. evans from the louisville uh, yeah, university of louisville peace project yes. and we appreciate you for being here we look forward to take back the night now that we've all signed on da, 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 da. Yes. whether you want us or not i know right <laughs> <laughs> we're there we're there bring it looking Gate forward crashers. to it That'll and we great. will uh, we will see you again because i'd like yes. you to come back maybe late july um, oh, and remind us again and then sure. maybe late august remind us again yes. so that we can keep getting this word out yes thanks yes. sally Sally. You're awesome. welcome. It's my Great pleasure. To see you. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so All much. right, guys, you got another tune ready for we us? Do. What are you going to do this time? Something a little more uh, us. A little more <laughs> sentimental journey as, <laughs> as opposed to more. you two. <laughs> That's right. Catherine Indeed. and Herschel, Sentimental Journey. You can snap at home. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone Oh honey, though our friendship ceases from now on And hey, listen darling, If you can't say anything real nice Remember, best not talk at all, that's my advice we are parting, you go your way, I'll I go mine, it's, it's best, it's best, best that we do. Here's a kiss, I hope that this brings lots of luck to you. Makes no difference how I carry on. Oh honey, please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Songs. Indeed. Makes me want to tap. We can tap. <laughs> it's like we're having fun or something. Indeed. <laughs> My word of the night. Indeed. Word of the day. Indeed. 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 <laughs> We are parting, you go your way, I'll go mine. It's best, it's best that we do. 
Well, here's a kiss, and I hope that this brings lots, lots of, of luck, luck to you. you. It makes, makes no difference how I carry on. Remember, please don't talk about me. Please don't talk about me. Well, please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Mental journey. Yes, ma'am. Sentimental Journey, love Catherine and Herschel, appreciate them so much, and uh, you guys have just such a great sound. I love it. I thank love you. the harmony. Well, thank, thank you. you. It's rocking. Tanya, I'm having so much fun out there talking to Emma and Mimi <laughs> <laughs> that I think they would make a much better interview than me, actually. They're no, so smart. probably digging your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> they love your shoes. You have to show us your shoes, as they say in the Miss America pageant. Oh, what about, oh how do they do it, Miss of America? Of which you were oh, a no. part. Those <laughs> like are beautiful. That. What are those? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know. Where, I think I got these at Dillard's. I don't know the brand, though. Though. Nothing you fancy. And Becca Gianna White have been, you Gianni and Becca Benny. White have been shopping for shoes again. Well, I need a little help with the height. So <laughs> I'm just trying to get on everyone else's level. Challenged. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And, and being here during a show like this is so tremendous because we have a, a, a room full of networking people. Yes. And mostly we have a room full of friends and great supporters of each other's work. And, and Sally just left from the Peace Project. And she said, you know, Tara, I was thinking about... The animal abuse situation and the, the gentleman, Brian, who's friends of Catherine Herschel's with the brain cancer and the work that is being done uh, with Take Back the Night. And she, she had a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. that is so beautiful. And it applies to all of us. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot clear out hate. Only love can do that. How spectacular yeah. is that? It's wonderful. It is. We create this synergy in Louisville of just like everyone helping each other. <laughs> and, That's right. Um, especially when you get such positive energy like it's in this room, like it's in your green room right That's now. Right. Great things happen. Wonderful. It's light. It's just full of light. I love it. And Tanya, you're always full of light <laughs> and good news. And you are with InFocus Magazine. And so that's why we love to have you come in to talk about the social side because InFocus covers philanthropy and all of the exciting events that take place all year long. Yes. This time we're talking bourbon, two separate events. Two bourbon events coming up this weekend. <laughs> I mean, we're never at a loss for bourbon in this city, <laughs> but <true. laughs> we have two uh, fun, right? Exactly. That's something to celebrate. Uh, we have two events coming up this week that are centered on bourbon and drinking bourbon and celebrating bourbon and tasting it. And also as always, for a good cause. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the two events. The first one is this Thursday night, Bourbon and Bow Ties. And this event has been going on for several years now and is really popular because actually in the summer, in the spring and summer after Derby, a lot of the fancy events, the dress up events, there aren't as many of them. It's kind of more casual, sure. which I got to be honest with you, I prefer these days. But Bourbon and Bow Ties gives us a chance in case anyone's missing dressing up from Derby. <laughs> it's Derby attire. Awesome. So obviously they encourage the men to wear bow ties. Ties, and there is a special bow tie that's been designed that will be sold at the event. And, of course, all of the proceeds go to Cosair Children's Hospital. That's so, fun. Yeah. Awesome. I love that. Are, are you also going to have a booth where the guys can have the bow tie tied? Because if it's not a clip-on, a lot of us don't know that how to do That is it. a great <laughs> suggestion. There should be a booth for that. Herschel, Herschel could do the tying for you. Is that a volunteer? <laughs> if you, you find somebody to teach me, we'll be there. Bow ties oh, are no. cool. Well, I actually watch, you know, because Josh Miller is yes. one of my favorite sidekicks with in focus. He's at every event. He's at way more than I'm at. And so he Did wears you a bow sidekick or psychic. Because <laughs> yeah. he actually could be both. He could both. be both. I think he's, he's predicted a few things in my life before. He's also a fabulous like, photographer and yeah. takes a lot of the pictures that are going to in focus. And one day I walked up on him. He was on his iPad and he was staring at it really intently. And I realized he was watching a YouTube video on how to tie his bow tie. Yeah. Oh, that's so, so cute. Half he was of a this, psychic, wouldn't he have you, known how to do that? Right. Already? You're right. He would have been able to predict the ending of that YouTube that video, right. but he wasn't. So one side of the screen was how to tie a bow tie, and the other tie, the other side was like the camera turned around backwards so he could see himself. It was Isn't really confusing. That huge. Really cool. I love that yeah. idea. What a fabulous plan. So that's bourbon and bow ties. That's it's, this Thursday night. That's this Thursday at Corbett's. Okay. And there'll be, uh, of course, uh, Corbett's is a fabulous restaurant. So yes, everybody will be is. getting a good meal there. Um, and you can get your tickets at helpcosairchildrenshospital.com. Helpcosairchildrenshospital.com. Dot com. And then the other event is this Saturday. Okay. And everybody loves an opportunity to get outside. And it's called Bourbon by the Bridge. Ooh. And this benefits CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocates. Wonderful organization. It's going to be next to the Big Four Bridge, tented, 
fun, casual affair, live music, lots of dancing, lots of bourbon, of course, which leads to more dancing. Yeah. <laughs> By people who weren't dancing, dancing to begin with. dancing leads to more bourbon, obviously. <laughs> and this is a pretty affordable ticket, $75 for an individual ticket. Um, and like I said, the, the bourbon is flowing, so you're going to get your money's worth. Nice. Bourbon by the Bridge is um, where you get those tickets. So those are the two bourbon-focused events. But I also wanted to talk about two great free events that are coming up. Always. Because, I mean, that's the we wonderful thing free. about it. Free, <laughs> I love free, that's too. Right. So it's like, you know, there's these great fundraisers, of course, in order to run raise funds you yes. need the money but also there are other ways to raise funds and that's just to get people there mm-hmm. so Shakespeare in the Park of oh, course is love it. opening soon and um in focus, besides being about philanthropy, also supports the arts. So opening night of Shakespeare in the Park, June 20th, in Central Park, of course. And that is free, believe it or not. I mean, I can't believe you get to enjoy something like that for free. Yeah. Yes. Um, obviously, f- funds are taken up there on a voluntary basis. Sure. But I've certainly uh, packed up my picnic basket and enjoyed it for free before. And um, I think you should meet yeah. Catherine and Mimi and Emma down at Central Park because we actually just did our director's <laughs> cut interviews yep. at Central Park because Catherine has always been so influenced by Central Park. Central Park really? And Shakespeare and, yeah. and all of that. Yeah. I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I am available to spend time with those girls anytime because <laughs> I had a better conversation with them. Absolutely. Yeah, so you might let's not know do what it. you're getting into. Yeah, <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> They're so interesting. So, Thank yes, you. I would be, awesome. ha- I'd be happy to go to Shakespeare at the Park with them. And then also to support this great cause. Yes. Um, um, also in Central Park is uh, they're doing Movie Mondays now. Oh, fun! So That's Oz cool. the Great and Powerful will ah. be the first one on June twenty fourth. <laughs> I know it's such a good movie. I just saw it in three wow. D at the new movie theater. I wish I had a picture of that. Place. <laughs> That's the Macaulay Culkin, Edvard Munch. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a beautiful movie, and so they'll be showing that in the park. And again, it's free to the public. And then if you feel you know, compelled to give, then by all means do for this great cause. You know, I think that we're so lucky to have something like Shakespeare in the Park in this city. And you want people to get behind it and support it. But at the same time, you want people who just need to be entertained by the arts to have the opportunity to come and watch it for free. And the kids, the kids need it because it disappears so quickly in the schools, even though we're working so hard Mm -hmm. to encourage the uh, development of arts. But having those free organizations in an art-filled city like Louisville Mm -hmm. is a wonderful thing. Yeah, it sure is. Thank you for promoting them. Of course. We should all just plan on making dates for all of the events, especially the free ones. (laughs) That's right. Because there are so many of us. (laughs) And I can't wait to hear about Bourbon and Bowties. And also about uh, the new Bourbon by the Bridge, which is going to be a spectacular event. Those are coming up this week. You can go to In Focus Magazine on Facebook Mm -hmm. or on the web. On the web, infocusmagazine.com. And you can catch up on all of the events. And you can also go to Tanya Ablin's page. And it's a fabulous page. She's got a lot of followers. (laughs) And she's got all of the things posted. And she's always dressed to kill. (laughs) Which is And don't let those shoes kill you. Sometimes they are killing me, yes. (laughs) Dressed in something that is killing me, yeah. (laughs) Well, thank you, Tanya, for taking time to come in tonight. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you very soon. It's always my pleasure. Thank you, Thank Tara, you so, so much. much. For the social <laughs> side of Louisville. Good to see you. I always say you have the best entertainment in the city right here. I do. At Crescent and Hill Radio. fantastic. Thank you for your, your friendship, your support of these great organizations, and coming on Crescent Hill Radio. Wonderful. Have and focuslouisville.com. Come visit us. We will see you very soon. Thank you very much. Um, Eternal Health Yoga is, again, to talk about yoga, a local establishment that has a fabulous studio right on Frankfurt Avenue in Crescent Hill, and they are a member of the Frankfurt Avenue Business Association. I do my yoga there, and I want to thank them for their support of Crescent Hill Radio's Take It From Tara, Eternal Health Yoga. Eternal Health Yoga at 3410 Frankfurt Avenue in Louisville's Crescent Hill is dedicated to sharing the joyful benefits of yoga with you. Teacher Training 200-hour program is certified with the National Yoga Alliance, and classes are offered seven days a week by certified yoga instructors. Varied class packages available, including the introductory 30 days for $35. All levels welcome. EternalHealthYoga.com online and on Facebook, 502-424-3164. Celebrating seven years of serving the Louisville Southern Indiana community. And Eternal Health Yoga, thank you very much for your participation in and sponsorship of Crescent Hill Radio's Take It From Tara, Catherine, Herschel. Yes. Do you have another tune in you? We do. Oh, All yes. right. Well, we're going to let you sing while we get Ramona Johnson set up for her interview. What's the tune? Two Sleepy People. Oh, that sounds good. I think Ramona and I would qualify. Yeah, the, the song needs a disclaimer for anybody listening in the car. So, uh, <laughs> roll your windows down, crank up the air. Here we are. Cigarettes, holding hands and yawning, 
Look how late it gets Two sleepy people with nothing to say But too much in love to break away Here we are in the cozy chair Tugging on a wishbone from the frigid air Two sleepy people by dawn's early light And too much in love to say goodnight Do you remember the nights we used to linger in the hall? Father did not like you at all No Do you remember the reason why we married in the fall? To get this little nest And, and finally get, get some rest So here we are Just above the same Foggy little fella Drowsy little dame Two sleepy people By dawn's early light And too much in love To say goodnight Do you remember Nights we used to linger In the hall Father did not like you at all do you remember the reason why we married in the fall? To rent this little nest and get a bit of rest. So here we are, just above the same. You foggy little fella, you drowsy little dame. We're two sleepy people by dawn's early light And too much in love to say goodnight Bonsoir Bonne note. That was adorable. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing Two Sleepy People with us, Sentimental Journey, <laughs> Herschel Zond, and Catherine Furrow, and... Beautifully done. Thank I you know! Very much. In honor Don't of Dean Martin's them? birthday this yeah. past weekend. Oh, how <laughs> cute is that? Um, I want to mention one more thing, Ramona, just before we start talking about Bridgehaven. Catherine and Herschel are extraordinary filmmakers, and Breath of Heaven is the film project that they are going to start shooting in September right here in Louisville. And just give us a quick synopsis, Catherine, because you started this project when you were about 15 or 16. 16. Yeah. yeah, it's been 20 years. I started working on the screenplay on a family vacation, put it away, would bring it back out, put it away, would bring it back out. And then finally, um, I let this guy read the script because it was a stage play. He said, no, it's a movie. I rewrote it. We worked on it together. And here we are about <laughs> to make a movie. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. There thank are well going done. to be auditions announced very s shortly, and we're going to be setting up auditions for people who want to participate. And the That's nice right. thing is they're raising funds uh, on Indiegogo mm -hmm. to actually pay people to be a part of the movie yeah. instead Indeed. of saying, yeah, just come on and do it for your resume. You really want to do it for pay. And so that's a big part of your program. It is. Um, uh, it's an Indiegogo campaign. People can go to Indiegogo.com and search for Breath of Heaven. And then auditions are June 29th and 30th at the Hyatt downtown. More, I love it. And press release. That. Yeah, press release website. will be forthcoming. Coming yep. shortly, as soon as I write it. <laughs> <laughs> or they can just go to the website, Breath of Heaven Movie. Or you can just go to yep. Breath of Heaven Movie.com and find it. So That's thank right. you very much for that. That's an exciting project, and we're so happy to be a part of it. Thank you. Ramona, you have uh, taken the helm at Bridgehaven for a number of years, done a spectacular job, and thank you for taking time after a long day's work to come in and share the good work with us. Well, thank you for the opportunity. I'm happy to be here. Well, I'm happy to have you here because Bridgehaven, as we've said, is for those who have severe mental illnesses and don't have any kind of funding to be able to help them, like many of us do, with some sort of insurance or parents or somebody who can help to, to pay the bills, and that's one of the biggest challenges in mental health right now, is paying the bills. So tell us about Bridgehaven's role in helping folks who just can't afford to get help any other way. Well, Bridgehaven plays, a very, I think, a very unique role in the mental health service delivery system in our community. It does. We've been around since 1958. 
um, founded by a very visionary group of women, the local chapter, the National Council of Jewish Women, Yes, um, who were trying to uh, create a place where people could transition from having been institutionalized at Central State Hospital, yes. um, transition into the community and be able to live a life in the community. And our mission is still very, very similar today because we work with adults, 18 and over, who have a severe and persistent mental illness. And those are diagnoses like schizophrenia yes. and bipolar disorder, yes. um, um, severe recurrent depression, other forms of psychosis. And these, these illnesses can be extremely disruptive. They usually... Um, manifest themselves or people first start experiencing the symptoms when they are young adults, either in late adolescence or sometimes in college. Right. Really the time of your life when you are, you have the world by the tail, mm -hmm. you know, and you're ready to um, get that college degree, um, maybe get married, start a family, have your first home, um, your first career, and the illness strikes and it just derails everything. Yes. And so what we are doing at Bridgehaven is helping people to recover from that devastating, that devastating um, impact of yes. the illness by helping them learn to manage the illness uh, so that the so that the symptoms don't control their lives every day. Exactly. Um, we're about empowering people. Um, oftentimes, people with a mental illness. Um, feel like they only are their diagnosis. Exactly. And that, well, I'm a schizophrenic, therefore I will never finish school. I will never have a relationship. I'll never get married. I'll never own my own home. All the things that we all kind of take for granted. Yes. And we help people understand that they are far more than that illness. That's right. Um, we, we want to try to get rid of that stigma and take those labels away from people and let them know that they are individuals with talents and um, intelligence. We have some amazingly talented people at Bridgehaven. Yes, you do. Wonderful, wonderful artists in their own right. Art therapy is a very important part of our program. Helps people give expression to feelings that they often can't put in words, but they can express it on a canvas or in clay or some other some other medium. And that art is sold mm -hmm. every year at a special event to raise money for Bridgehaven, so that'll oh, be coming right. up again soon. It happens every year in March, yes. generally the first Sunday in March. It's yes. called Art as a Part of Healing, and art really is a part of healing in our program. Um, so many people have found it to, to be um, not only they discover a talent they have that's marketable, truly yes. marketable, um, but uh, it really um, speeds up the pace of their recovery when well, they can and I've, express themselves that way. I've been fortunate to be a part of Bridgehaven um, facilitating and emceeing events, uh, recovery awards, which is always a very precious thing to me because it acknowledges the work that is being done by the members at Bridgehaven. And to have uh, the opportunity to hear and see the stories being told about what these people who come to Bridgehaven have been facing and the mm -hmm. obstacles that they are tearing down and moving through to get to where they want to be is is it just it's inspiring mm -hmm. and when i was at the last <laughs> recovery awards you know i i acknowledged at the end of the program that you know i too have suffered from depression and it's been a devastating experience, and mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, those people who have dealt with it for all of their lives, I've had a, a short-term situational feeling. Um, these people have dealt with it for 20, 30, 40 years, some, some longer, and it's incredible how much one person can do mm -hmm. to stop that tragedy from taking over their mm -hmm. lives and ending their lives, which in many cases, Bridgehaven members have experienced attempted suicide or mm -hmm. wanted to, you know, end it some way. So I'm, I'm always amazed and impressed at the stories that are being told. And, and thank you for allowing them to share. Tell us a little bit about the Cognitive Enhancement Therapy Program, because I know that's a big new thing that you're doing to help the members at Bridgehaven. Yeah, this is something that we're really, really excited about. Um, cognitive enhancement therapy is a research-based therapy that was um, developed in the late 90s at the University of Pittsburgh, I believe. And it is based on the theory of neuroplasticity of wow. the brain. That's yes. a long word. But <laughs> what it really means is that our brains, contrary to what we used to believe, have the capacity to change and grow and that brain cells can... Uh, we can develop new brain cells. We can develop new pathways between the brain cells. And the results of this cognitive enhancement therapy even show on physiological studies like PET scans. You Amazing. can actually see an increase in brain mass in certain areas of the brain. And so this, this therapy was designed 
to address what we call the negative symptoms of a mental illness like schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. Sure. The positive Mm -hmm. symptoms are things that we all associate with schizophrenia, hallucinations, delusions, those kinds of things. But if you've ever met someone who has a a disorder like schizophrenia, they usually have a very flat, kind of emotionless affect, facial expression. Um, And people say, oh, they don't have any motivation. All they want to do is sit and smoke and drink sodas, and they don't want to do anything. And um, and, and it is true that that is part of what happens with that disorder and that illness. They have difficulty concentrating, sure. focusing, sure. Um, making decisions, understanding the social context of interactions between people. They just The illness interferes with the brain's ability to get it, to figure those things exactly. out. Exactly. And so cognitive enhancement therapy targets those symptoms. And those are the things that really prevent people from functioning. They prevent people Absolutely. from getting jobs, from finishing school, yep. and those, those sorts of things that, that are their goals that people, everybody has. So we have completed um, one year of this program. It's, it is a one-year program. So the members who get involved in CET make a year-long commitment wow. to come to group once a week. Wow. Um, they're involved in a, in a computer-based exercise that helps to increase their reaction time to Excellent. computer exercises. Excellent. Um, when that is the physical therapy the, for the brain that they're going through, mm-hmm. um, then they're involved in a, a weekly um, group therapy session mm-hmm. that is focused on a particular concept, helping them understand uh, thinking ahead, helping them understand social context and those sorts of things. Um, they we've had one one group of twenty members graduate. Great, That's and great. we've Incredible. got the second group in process. <laughs> And the, the stories that, and the changes that we've seen in these first 20 people that went through this program are just amazing. Um, there was um, one, one uh, of our members who has been with us for several years, and I speak to him every time I see him, and kind of with his face down like this, he'll say, hello. Wow. Um, he went into the CET program. And he was probably two-thirds of the way through the program. And I heard a knock on my office door, knock, 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 and I looked up, and it was him. And I said, hi, um, what can I do for you? And he said, we need to talk. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. (laughs) And I said, well, have a seat. Come and sit down. So he sat down at my desk, and he said, "Um, there are some things going on around here that I'm kind of concerned about, and I have some questions. Isn't that incredible? Wow, that's amazing. And it was – after I shut my mouth and my chin, you know, got it up off my desk, yes. um, I carried on this wonderful conversation with him. He was able to articulate the things that he was concerned about. And that was the first time in your experience with him he had been able That's to. First amazing. time he had been able to. Mm-hmm. He had some very real questions that I was able to answer for him. He understood the answers. They made sense. He said, oh, okay, now I understand. I'm amazed. And I said, you know, the next time you come in here, you'll probably be on this side of the desk. You'll you'll have my job. So um, we have another member who completed CET who's um, gone back to school to finish his degree in engineering. Fantastic. His his illness first started when he was in college, and he had to drop out of speed school. Mm. And after about a month of being in the program, he came to the the, uh, group leader, and he said, I can read again. I haven't been able to read a book in 30 years. That's incredible. I'm reading my high school physics and chemistry books. And he was excited about that. Now, who yeah. wants to read? <laughs> I think we need to put this computer-based program on all of our laptops, and I think we need to yep. take it into the schools. Yes. Yes, and I mean, because sure. it seems like it would have extraordinary ramifications for anyone who pursued it. it, it Not really, just those who are severely yeah. mentally ill. Yeah. And there are forms of this, um, a broader um, form of this called cognitive remediation. Okay. And it is being used in schools um, or in special programs outside of schools to help kids do better in school. Wonderful. To help prepare them and help them focus and concentrate better. So um, we're looking at using it with people with traumatic brain injuries. Wow. Um, they're, they're looking, mm-hmm. researching, looking at using it with people with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. So it's very exciting, and we're just really pleased to be the only mental health organization in Kentucky that's offering this. Cutting okay. edge, Bridge Cutting Haven. Edge. That's what it's about. There's a wonderful golf challenge coming up Monday, June 17th at the Oldham County Country Club, 100 holes of golf in one day, hundred yeah. holes, and it's a fundraiser to support excellence in mental health care via Bridgehaven. So you can either secure and donate prizes or awards, you can be a golfer and recruit a golfer, or you can be a sponsor. And the best thing to do is go to uh, Bridgehaven's website or call Bridgehaven. You want to give them that information, Ramona? Yeah, Bridgehaven's website is simply www.bridgehaven.com. 
dot org. Okay. Um, our phone number is five eight five nine four four four. Um, when you call, ask for Donna Schuster. She is our development director. Yay, Donna. And the other thing you can do, our golfers have created web pages. Oh, good. Um, and there is a website that you can go to. To if get you sponsorship, want right? to select a golfer and make a donation to that golfer. It Excellent. can be done online. Excellent. And, I love that. Um, they uh, have their pages up. That t- I will tell you that there's one very adorable um, young man who's golfing. His gorgeous blue eyes. He, I'm not sure how old he is. I don't want to insult him, but he's maybe nine or ten years old. Aww. And um, he's he's getting lots of lots of pledges. He's a very appealing golfer. I bet. I bet. But that website is www.firstgiving. Dot com okay. slash Bridgehaven slash 2013. Excellent. Firstgiving.com and look for Bridgehaven awesome. for 2013. Yeah. And thank you again, Ramona, for coming in after, after the busy day that you've had and talking about Bridgehaven Mental Health Services. You're welcome to come back at any time. Anytime you. you have an event, please come and promote it with us. And you know, I forgot to promote my yoga instructor. We've been talking in here about yoga. Right. And everybody's <laughs> mentioned yoga. Right. And you mentioned that I was missing my yoga class yes. to be here. And I have to say, my yoga instructor, Susan, and Schroeder is the best yoga instructor in the city. We'll have to fight about it. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies. Thank you, Ramona. I appreciate you so much, Ramona Johnson with Bridgehaven. We want to thank Meridian Acupuncture for their sponsorship of Take It from Tara. And uh, Meridian Acupuncture and Herbal Medicine is located on Wallace Avenue in St. Matthews. Colby Helton has given me a number of acupuncture treatments, all of which have been extremely beneficial. Check it out. Oh! <gasps> Oh, no, we have a program failure. I'll just tell you about Meridian Acupuncture and Chinese Herbal Medicine anyway. They have a complete, raw, beautiful pharmacy, and you can get any of that information uh, at Meridian Acupuncture, or you can go to their Facebook page, Meridian Acupuncture and Chinese Herbal Medicine. But the raw pharmacy is awesome because very few places actually carry it. It's unusual to have in the city, and that's why it's absolutely tremendous that it's there right next to Simply Thai in St. Matthews on Wallace Avenue. They do acupuncture, acupressure, massage, and all kinds of other great services, all reasonably priced and all designed to make you feel better. <laughs> Ramona's thinking, that sounds so I'm good. I'm now. on my way right now. But uh, Colby and Robert and their partners are fantastic. They've been on the show. They've sponsored the show. And I just appreciate them very much. So we welcome them to uh, come back anytime to talk about their wonderful craft. They both are great Uh, Greatly educated by a fantastic college uh, in San Diego, I think. It's Pacific College of Acupuncture. Really educated young women and men both. There are four partners, and they actually, the two guys graduated from St. X. So local boys went away, got their education, came back, and brought a fantastic practice of acupuncture and Chinese herbal medicine to Louisville, Meridian Acupuncture. One more song before we sign out. Catherine and Herschel, you've got about a minute and a half. Perfect. Well, real quick, uh, if you are interested in helping out Bryce Blair, who has done a lot with children's theater in uh, Clarksville's YMCA, he has a GoFundMe campaign going. GoFundMe.com slash Bryce Blair. And Bryce, if you're listening, this one's for you. Sentimental Journey, Herschel Zond, Captain Burrow, for Bryce. All right. Little Nat King Cole, <laughs> take us out. There may be trouble ahead, but while there's moonlight and music and love and romance, let's face the music and dance. Before the fiddlers have fled There you go Yeah Before they ask us to pay the bill And while we still have a chance Let's face the music and dance Soon we'll be without the moon Humming a different tune And then there may be teardrops to shed But while there's moonlight and music and love and romance, let's face the music and dance. 
Evans of the U of L's Peace Project and Ramona Johnson of Bridgehaven. Next Monday, James Sane is our musical guest, and Tyson's Chance is our featured animal rescue, along with Megan Bauer of the Chopping Block Day Spawn Salon on career opportunities in hair and aesthetics, plus more on Take It from Tara. See you guys Monday at 5 p.m. Thanks so much for joining us. degrees and remember you're listening to 1650 a.m crescent hill radio it's 602 hi this is